convincing. I'll, I'll have a go at it. If it uh, if I struggle with the paperwork, I'll uh, ask somebody else to take me, take over. Been there all night. Just going to get some water. Would you like one of us to read it out for you and then you can, um, you know, chair it? And we'll read well, it out. I was just waiting for the 30 minutes past. Yeah, but I'm just asking you a question beforehand. Would oh, you sir. would you like one of us to read it out for you to help and then you you chair it, we'll just read it. Um yes, I think it'll be helpful, yeah. Okay. So can I well could I propose that um Councillor Smith uh reads it out then please? Well I don't know. whoever. Yep. That okay, can we have a second? Do we need to vote for this, Ashley? Come on. Right, okay, can we have a seconder then? Well, Ashley, second. Ashley, Ashley could read it out, I suppose. Yeah, well, Ashley could read it out. Don't read it out and do it. No, okay, well, let's go with Councillor Smith if that's all right. Can we yeah, yeah, yeah. Her? I'll second it. Okay. Councillor Smith, you're muted again. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best kind of chairman I know. <laughs> you muted, John. Yes, I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we seem to have some technical difficulties. Councillor Sampson. Mm -hmm. Ah, here he is. Oh. Now, yes, uh, you see, if I, if I mute myself because I'm doing something, I then have to wait for Ashley. To the Realize and unmute you. Yeah. So if, if I do that, if I do that, Ashley, yeah. it means I'm mute. <laughs> uh, right, Councillor right. Smith. I don't know if you heard that, but we we proposed you to read out motion. Uh, Councillor Tolver will chair it, but if you could read out the items, that would be helpful for him. I can do that. <laughs> Thank you. I get stuck on any long words. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Mm -hmm. At one point, I'd make uh, Ashley aware of there are and possibly a number of members of the public who have a comment to make, but uh, have not been potentially seen. Um, I know it's necessary also for you to uh, uh, filter those in some way mm. because we do have our fair share uh, people. Yeah, who might not be. We'll do our best. We have 15 okay. minutes to be public forum. Okay, um, so uh, we're ready now to start the HPC council excuse, meeting. Excuse me, John. Yes. Uh, before we start, has everybody in the public been warned about the privacy issues? Well, it's on. Yeah, it's, it's on, on the. It's on the agenda and it's on the website. Yes, yeah, it's on the rider. Right, well, they should all be aware that. Uh, the images and their names are being recorded. It, yeah, it that's that's that. sent with the link. Yeah. Can we go now? Yes. Welcome everybody to the meeting of HPC, Tuesday the 16th of March. Um, first item in part A, 21081, to receive apologies for absence. Have there been any, Ashley? No, we've received no apologies for this meeting. Thank you. 21.082, to note declarations of interest and request for dispensation to discuss or discuss and vote on a matter in which a member or co-opted member has a disposable pecuniary or non-pecuniary interest. Uh, does anyone on the council have any interest pecuniary or otherwise? No. None, none from Councillor Sampson. None from Councillor Moore. None from me. None from me, thank you. Uh, 21083, the open forum, comment and questions from members of the public uh, on items 
which in the chairman's view require debate and or discussion and might re be referred to the next committee or council meeting as appropriate. Public forum is restricted to 15 minutes unless the chairman allows otherwise. Andrew Backhouse had his um, hand up first. Good evening, Andrew. Thank you very much. Um, nice to be here. Can I say well done to see certain things on the agenda, which I am very pleased to see. Last January, gosh, over a year ago, there were about 40 of us gathered in Hanforth to declare a climate emergency and to push the council. I'm afraid various of us got diverted by COVID and other things. I've been doing quite a lot, but some others have too. But I really hope that the council will support what Sue has put on the agenda for tonight about climate emergency work we can be doing. I'm pleased that the council has done some good work already. Um, supporting the bus service is a really important thing. And in part, it's also that Cheshire East has declared a climate emergency. And I hope all the councils in the county are going to be supporting Cheshire East in that climate emergency. Bollington has really been doing a lot. Um, Congleton, of course, has their foreign land though down there. Um, and I believe Wilmsler even declared that it was in support of the Cheshire East Council emergency, climate emergency last night. And I don't see why we should have to follow Wilmsler. I think we should lead. So could you please give Sue all support you can in backing action on climate emergency tonight? Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Who have we got next, Ashley? Uh, Roger and Alan. Yeah, should we take Alan first? Yeah. Alan, when you're ready. We might be taking Roger first if you don't get up, Alan. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. I I've thought got I'd it. Okay. That. Okay. Got it, yeah. Um, yeah, item, item seven, um, Cheshire East are proposing that um, Wormslow should take over Hanforth um, and that the parish council should be disbanded. Um, I was going to ask all councillors to declare whether they're in favour of that takeover or not, but unfortunately two of the councillors aren't here, so maybe we can do it with the four who are here and p pick up on the others later. Um, but that is a real concern because one of the areas that the uh, consultation will be covering and, and <coughs> basically marking us for is our level of democracy. And if we've got councillors who, like councillors Burkill and Brewerton, who have been absent um, for a number of months, couple of months now, that is going to weigh very badly against us in the um, in the um desire to re remain independent is anybody councillor tolva particularly have you had any conversations with um uh, messrs brewerton and burke hill as to their um failure to perform their duties and are you proposing to do so and secondly um i think it's very important that the council has a coordinating ap approach to uh press and comments that are put out is it appropriate for the council to today organise a protocol for anybody who wants to make comments to the press about this subject? That's all, thank you. Thank you, Alan. Anybody, would you, Chair, would you like to uh, respond to the member of the public's question? I've had discussions with a number of people about the proposal for merging with Wilmslow and Chorley, um, including, of course, councillors uh, Burkill and Brewerton to a lesser extent. Um, I, I couldn't quite understand the meaning of your the second part of your question, I'm afraid. Well, the first, most important first part is, are you and Brewerton and Burkill in favour of the takeover, or do you wish Hanforth to remain independent? Well, I'm not speaking for anybody else, um, but I think what's important is that the residents should express their views. It's a, the, the next phase of the Cheshire East process is a public consultation over 12 weeks, um, assuming it's... Chair, um, yep, Chair assuming I need it. to interrupt you there. That's not the case. The next stage... Is to go to the Constitution Committee. 
by, by the 4th of April, who will then decide whether or not it is to go to consultation or whether they will make the decision that we have the status quo. That's correct. That wasn't what you were saying. You're right. That isn't what I said. But I think everybody appreciates that it's exceedingly likely that it'll go to 12 weeks consultation or nothing will happen. It's, and it's, then, it's not is like it not important that councillors express their view now as to whether they're going to be voting for uh, independence or the takeover? Chair, yeah, can I um, answer um, Alan Murdoch? I will be campaigning to stay independent. We are not the poor relations of Wilmslow. We have an excellent community and we want to stay as handful. Look at what we've achieved since the conception this is in a very 2011. Strange, this is a very strange way of the chairman ask, answering a question that's been put to him. No, I, you asked, uh, somebody asked, was anybody in favour? And I'm saying I'm in favour of staying independent and I will campaign vigorously to ensure that the residents of Hanforth know what they're being pushed into for this takeover, because I don't believe that they have considered it. I think somebody's just looked at a map and saw, and, you know, we're an independent parish council. Can we bring some of the members of the public in? Well, perhaps, Chair, can I just ask, given that Councillor Sanson has just declared her position, can I declare my position that is only in line with Councillor Sampson that Hanforth should stay independent rather than being um, a small part of a very large town council where the voices of Hanforth uh, parish councils would struggle to be heard. So I would be in favour of staying wholly independent, which I believe is the same view of Chorley and Wilmslow. I concur with you, Councillor Smith, but can we listen to members of the public? Because we can speak about this and the motion on, uh, when it comes on the agenda, but this right, is yeah. the public's turn, isn't it? Yes. Chairman, I've had my hand up for since the, the open forum uh, started, and we can whether you, I'm being seen, I don't know. Yes, we can hear you, David. Right, okay, fine, thank you. Um, I'd like to make um, some comments on... Um, um, motion uh, 2187, uh, the East uh, Community Governance, the, the Cheshire East Governance Review, um, that seeks to merge the Hanforth Parish Council with Wilmslow Town Council. Now, you may recall that in 2009, a similar scheme was proposed by Cheshire East, and when residents were made aware, they made it known through a petition that they were against the merge, especially when the power base for decision-making was going to be controlled by Wilmslow Town Council. Over a period of three evenings in uh, 2009, myself and uh, Councillor Burkill collected over 700 signatures um, from households. This represented some 10% uh, of Hanforth um, domestic properties. And when this was presented to Cheshire East Council, it ensured that Handforth, with its boundaries, would remain and be governed locally by um, a Handforth Parish Council. I recall at the time of canvassing and collecting signatures that not one household wanted to be merged under the umbrella of Wilmslow. And I really feel it's probably the same today. Handforth has a very strong community spirit, which has been demonstrated time and time again, especially when we suffered a tragedy, such as when Corporal Jamie Webb lost his life in Afghanistan. The whole community came together. It was also demonstrated again when we built the Handforth Community War Memorial. Handforth is still a village with a strong community, and I, for one, 
wanted to remain that way, as I am sure you and the rest of the parish council will endorse. I can also mention that at that particular time, there was a little bit of press, uh, press coverage and a picture was taken of myself and Councillor Burkill, along with the 700 and odd um, signatures that had been collected and an article was written. And I, I would, I'm very happy that that art, article is um, reproduced if necessary and used um, by the parish council um, in the future of trying to keep hand forth as hand forth. Thank you. We have a gentleman in the far corner, Mr. Jacko, who's had his hand up for some time. Good evening. Am I unmuted? No, you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if councillors fail to attend council meetings and can't even be bothered to send apologies for their absence, can any sanctions be taken against them or do the electorate just remain unrepresented? Chair, would you like to respond? Are you talking about me as chair or John Smith as chair? I'm, I'm just, I'm just reading them out, chair. You're the chair. <laughs> this is a bit complex. Um, the technical answer is that if a councillor does not attend meetings for six months, um, then there's an automatic disqualification unless there are uh, other factors to be brought into play. Um, apologies have no significance uh, as far as uh, um, as far as his status as a councillor is concerned. Hey, thank you. I, I, I would just, if I might, Chair, I just point out to, uh, I, don't, I presume it's Mr. Jacko, um, that there is, uh, if you read Private Eye, um, they've reported in the past on a councillor who was a member of a unitary authority who um, would turn up at the last meeting of the six months every year so that he could claim his allowance and then go back to his home in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get paid. Can't, can't do that now with Zoom. <laughs> but, but unfortunately, parish councillors, I must point out, parish councillors receive no remuneration whatsoever. Correct. Well, thanks for your question. Thank you. Um, the I, think, I think we're probably past our 15 minutes, are we? Roger's still waiting. And so is Josh. And James has had his hand up for a, quite a while. There's quite a few still with their hands up. So I, I never, think... In never, 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 nevertheless, we've had 15 minutes. Yes, but can we not yeah, extend it? Well, it's at the chairman's discretion, and I think we should move on. To the next item on the agenda. The chair, there's only been, it's now, it's now 10 to 8. The meeting started after 7.30. So we're only just at 15 minutes. Given the state of the situation we have with um, want, members of the want, public wanting want to, to... Do you want to be want, the chair? For, do you want to be the chair for the meeting, John? Well, you're the chair. All right. I have just given a ruling. I know, but all I'm, I want to point out to you, Chair, I don't that there are me members of the public, and this is an extremely important issue to many members of, of Amport regarding the, the life of the parish council. To say that, well, I'm sorry, but we've gone five minutes over, takes away the voice from lots of people in Amport who wish to speak on this very, very rare uh, occurrence of being asked to form with another another town council. Well, if right, we, just resign. If we assume this is going to a twelve-week consultation, there'll be ample opportunity for can't, more questions. We can't assume that. No, we can't. Well, perhaps, yeah, perhaps, well, chair. Just we, have we, five more minutes on the subject, please. Well, we, or what we could do, chair, is allow questions during the discussion of the actual item. 
which means that we can then move on from the public forum. But when we get to 21087, we allow members of the public to speak on that issue. Can I may propose I, a vote on that, Chair? May I, may, I, may I say that I've got quite a lot I'd like to say about Agenda Item 7 uh, and a little bit about Agenda Item 9. I'm, I would be quite happy to be consulted during the general discussion of those agenda items. Can I propose that, Chair? I'll tell you what, we'll let Roger be comment on the two items briefly and then we'll move on. Well, no, you. that's not fair because there's other people been waiting. Well, why didn't somebody schedule the open forum to be longer than 15 minutes? Well, we didn't realise that so many people would be so interested in this governance motion. And I know personally that a number of people have commented to me because uh, councillors have reported in the Nutsford Guardian that we're being taken over. And that was the first time I'd even heard of it. Sure. Yes. And it is at your discretion, Brian, so if we could continue for another 10 minutes, whatever it is, I think it's important, please. Or can I request, Chair, that we allow members of the public to speak during the actual motion discussion? I think if we open it up for discussion during the meeting proper, it'll Good. Never, never come to an end. So we'll, we'll have another, where are we now? Chair, the last meeting was three hours long. I uh, exactly. carried on with that. That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. But well, this is far more important than that meeting was, I would suggest. Will you, will you please stop arguing, John? Well, that just waste time. We'll let it go on till uh, eight o'clock as an open forum, and then we'll stop. That's only another six minutes, Chair. It's ten minutes according to my clock. Okay, can we bring some members of the public in? Go on, Roger. He's not there. There's a, a, a Sam Brunt and there's James and there's an Alex. What well, they've had their hands up for a very long time. Start. Look, I'm just here to say, basically, I know. It's a lot. I know, but I don't really know a lot of what's going on or what to ask, but just to say, Brian, you're being really annoying, I think, right now. I'm That's sorry. Nothing to do with Please it. don't make personal comments against other councillors. We're asking you to make a, a point about the governance or anything else on the agenda. Thank you. Um, Next one. Alex, can we have Alex in? Good evening, yes. I just want to uh, ask the councillors their view on the climate emergency, uh, given that they've just voted to uh, take the fence, that, sorry, take the, uh, the hedge down in replacement for a fence, which, uh, in, in, which you've just, just done in the last meeting. Um, so given that you're saying there's a climate emergency, but you're tearing down the, the hedge and the uh, bush, I just want to know what, you, what your views is on the climate emergency. Thank you. Any, any councillor want to comment on that? Well, I think, I guess I'll comment. Um, I think it's private property. And as I said, I'm very disappointed that they're going to take their hedge down. But there's nothing I can do about what people want to do on their private property unless it's against the law. And it's not against the law, sadly. If it was my, I would have it against the law. But there we are. That's another one. Can we bring other people in? James has had his hand up. You're muted, James. It needs to be unmuted by Ashley. Oh. Ashley, can you un unmute James, please? Or Roger. Or Roger, yeah. Or Josh. They're all muted. Um, 
May, may I make some very brief comments about um, agenda item nine then? Um, this is an agenda item which I strongly support. Um, a lot of the woodland that's described uh, or, or would be considered under this agenda item is listed in the neighbourhood plan. And there's one particular piece of woodland that concerns me, uh, I think, above all other, and that's Hall Wood. It has a national designation as an ancient woodland. And we all know, I hope, that within Hall Wood, there are some beautiful bluebell glades. It's one of the most beautiful areas of Hanforth, if not the most beautiful area of Hanforth in uh, the springtime. This is under threat by the Sunfield uh, site development, because as part of that development, the footpath, 89, I think it is, which runs along the western edge of that site, dips down into Hall Wood and increased traffic along there, be it motorbikes or pedestrians, uh, could have a very deleterious effect on those bluebell glades. And that's one area in particular that I would like to see protected. The other point is that the band of woodland running between Hall Road and Lower Meadow Road is the um, old railway track, the Army Branch Line. And I think it might be an idea to have um, a lectern at the Hall Road end uh, describing the, the history of that particular track through the woods. Thank you. James has been waiting for quite a long time. Um, unfortunately, James, we need to ask our parish clerk to unmute you. So, Ashley. Is there anybody there that can unmute themselves and speak? Can I, can I make a point? Yes. Possible? I'm not sure if this relates to the governance, but I just want to make it aware that the first five, 10 minutes, the planning meeting were not streamed on the YouTube channel. Not sure if that's for Zoom breaking up, but I just wanted to flag this up in terms of transparency, if that's okay. 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 There's... James is still on mute, and there's another gentleman called Mark Phillips on mute. We lost Ashley. I don't know where Ashley is. Can you? Mark, there you go. There you go, Mark. No. no. Mark, we can't hear you. Can't you. hear you, Mark. You Ashley, can you ask more? Can I you have asked him to unmute several times now. It's not working. Ah, there he is. There you go. Can you hear me now? Did it work? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I am a Hanforth resident, uh, just to break up the pattern of uh, comments today. But I just wanted to make a quick point to say I supported uh, everything that Dave Pinkham just said in terms of the independence of Hanforth. As a resident, I would support Hanforth remaining as a parish council in its own terms rather than joining with Wimso or Chorley. Um, I hope there will be proper consultation with Hanforth residents, if applicable, uh, before any decisions decisions are made. And fa finally, all, all I kind of want to see as a Hanforth resident is a, a, a properly functioning parish council. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That, that is my interest in joining today. And I'd like to see that going forwards with proper 
representation from the uh, councillors at all meetings. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I think we've still not heard whether the chair is in favour of independence or takeover. I can, can he come off the fence? The fence yes. that the chair is on is saying that this is going to be put up to consultation to residents and I will support what their majority view is. That does not take a, make a lead. We need a leader to lead the campaign to remain independent. If the chair can't that's, support that's, independence, that's then he should resign. That's your opinion. I'm perhaps more democratic than you are. Chair, may I, may I make a comment, please? Chair? Oh, sorry, I don't know who you are. Sorry. John Smith. John. Can I make a comment regarding your, your, your um, standing? on this issue. Um, well, I expect we'll hear lots of comments from lots of councillors over the coming months. Right, so I'd just like to make this that's comment now. That's my because, position now. Yes, I'd, I'd like to make the comment now because there are many people, Hanforth residents, actually watching and listening. Um, because I, I was, uh, I've, I've been made aware of uh, an email that was sent to um, a journalist from yourself, which uh, you're saying that in essence we spend about fifty thousand to exist. Now, uh, what I what I'd like to point out is that you've said here that um, I sus the, the council has absorbed just under a million of taxpayer money since its inception in 2011. You suspect that this may be typical of many small and medium parish councils. There is now, at long last, the possibility, even the likelihood that this parish council will be dissolved in the not too distant future and merged with neighbouring Wimslow Town Council. That would make a far more cost effective unit. So I might be wrong, but that for me implies that you have um, a leaning towards that merger between Wimslow because you said it makes it far more cost effective. And you actually come in there and say, um, there is now at long last at long last. So I'm wondering whether or not you stood for election at the last parish council in order to hopefully not take part in it after uh, a certain date because people voted for you and you're now saying that you, at long last, there's the possibility of us merging with Wilmslow. Have you any comment on that, councillor? I didn't stand for election with any of those thoughts in mind. I didn't say you did. Oh, but you stood for election in order to stand for election for four years. And now you're looking to, mm. it seems, not represent people in Hanforth anymore because it would be subsumed by Wilmslow. Surely we can't be led by a chair who has that attitude. Surely you're against Does it. anybody Wilmslow disagree against, against it? it. Chair, I don't know what do, benefit do you, you see in Hanford for this. Do you not understand what I just said about... Um, yes, you did what you normally do, which is answer a different question. I don't know how you understand what I'm saying, if you won't let me get to the end of the sentence each time. What I said is, I believe it's up to the residents of Hanford to make this decision, not me, not you. Yes, that's correct, Chair, but there are people Residents of Hamforth who are asking you a direct question. Um, well, Mr. Murdoch, for instance. You and two other people at the moment. Beg your pardon? It only seems to be you and two other people right at this moment. I would like to ask the same question. Well, I dare say you would. That's I'm going to give you the same answer. You, uh, however many people are watching this is only a tiny proportion of the population of Hamforth population of Hanford is six and a half thousand people and it's going to be up to them to judge this council and how they feel about it in a 12-week consultation and that's what will judge the issue. With a neutral chair? 
the 12 week consultation will only happen if the constitution committee chooses so yes and if it doesn't then there will be no merger will there that is correct that's what i said earlier so what's the point you're making the point i'm making is that you seem chair to wish well for this merger for hanford to be merged at long last was your point your comment at long last and that would make us a more cost efficient unit well i'd just like to point out that well, in the sure. cost effectiveness isn't you might know the cost of something but it's not knowing the value of something would Hanforth Parish Council be able to put a uh, a pantomime on, as it does now, for, for every year? When you bear in mind that um, those pantomimes are very well supported, would Wilmslow vote in favour of Hanforth having the funds to do that? At the moment, Hanforth Parish Council votes that uh, pantomime, and instead of a, a you know a typical parent with three kids going to Stockport to the plaza where they're going to be charged more than 60, 70 quid to get in plus transport there, they pay less than a fiver, less than a fiver for three kids and an adult at Hamforth. Now, the children doesn't care that it's not taking place in the plaza. All they know is that they suspend disbelief for two hours of the pantomime performance. It's that sort of thing that Hamforth Parish Council is good at. What we don't need is Wilmslow Town Council saying, sorry, there isn't enough money this year for a pantomime. So all those single parents in Hanforth, you won't be taking your kids to a pantomime. That's the sort of thing that we should be concerned with. Well, the way the numbers stack up, and this isn't about numbers, or not entirely about numbers. Well, don't quote the numbers then. It's, Chair, as I said before, it's not no, knowing how much something costs, it's knowing the value of it. It's the benefit to the community. As I say, I can't really say anything if I'm never allowed to get to the end of a sentence. But you are allowed to get to the end of the sentence, Brian. You just don't answer the question succinctly enough for us all to understand in the open it. Forum? Because this seems to have been taken over by councillors. My apologies. Well, as okay, simple, to... okay, simple question then. If the chair's not willing to leave Wilmslow, uh, Lee Hanforth for independence and supports the takeover by Wilmslow, will he resign and let the council be led by somebody who is in favour of independence? You're very anxious that I should resign, Mr. Mallow. I'm very anxious that we should have somebody to lead the campaign to maintain the independence of Hanforth. Well, what, what if if you're not that person, then somebody what, else should do it. What if the majority of people in Hanforth did want to merge? Wouldn't you be more anxious for them to be led by somebody who wanted to merge you? I mean, you, you are presuming that you are speaking for the majority, it seems to me. And yes. You have, and you have no way of knowing that. I don't know of anybody who wants a merger. Anybody, well, on, the, anybody on the screens want to take over by Wilmslow? Oh, your hand the, up if you don't. The, the only the only data we have about that is the referendum from 2010, where there were out of a voting population of about 5,000, mm. there were 615 who voted in favour of Hanford having a parish council. 720. What? 720. 615. I'm talking about the referendum, David. Oh, right, OK. I'm talking about the collection of signatures I'm to ensure that we, um, we, 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 we kept our own boundaries. I'm talking about the referendum that Cheshire East conducted in 2010. And the consensus was that we stood alone, and that's what we've done since 2011. The, the, the majority was that we stood alone. Yes, and that's democracy. Exactly. So what we're saying is that I, for one, will campaign to stay and keep Hanforth independent That's because right. I do not want to be a poor relation of Wilmslow. What we've achieved since 2011 is amazing compared to what Wilmslow have done. Their preceptor's gone up every year since their conception 
Ours hasn't. No, We've precept. looked after our money. The no, precept is less than ours. No, it is not. Yes, it is. It, it, it is. It We're is. still in the public yeah, forum. But it's less than ours because they've got more residents. And that's because they charge less per household. Uh, oh, on, on band D, yes. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I get the impression, Brian, that you want to join Wilmslow, especially after Councillor Smith has read that email out. I don't know where you got those figures from. What figures? The figures that um, Councillor Smith has quoted in the email. You're saying that it's cost us a million pounds. Well, it costs us £50,000 a year to exist. Are you sure? <clears throat> yes. Could I just interrupt it, please? I don't know who Barbara Miller is, but she's made some accusation about Councillor Sampson and her perks. Can I just remind you that councillors do this for no remuneration? There are no perks. We give up our time to do all of these things because we believe in our village and we want to do what's right for our village. So kindly don't put derogatory comments on there about councillors who worked very hard in this last two years to get what we to get so far and have put up with an awful lot of problems. So please keep your derogatory comments to yourself. Thank you. Does everybody think it's appropriate that we move on to the agenda? Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Am I still reading then, Chair? If you would be so kind. Right. Uh, next item to approve and sign the minutes of the Hampworth Parish Council meeting of the 17th of February. I'll go by pages. Uh, does anyone have any comments regarding page one? No. No. No, Councillor Samson. Page two. No, Councillor Moore. None from Councillor Sampson. Councillor Tolga. I, I don't have my copy with me. I did make some notes, but I mislaid them, so I'll have to just let it go by. Page three. Is that the same answer, Councillor Tolga? Yes, I've lost mislaid my notes. None from Councillor Moore. No, okay. No, none from Councillor Sampson. None from me. I declare, can I have a, a proposal to accept? I'll propose. I'll second. Thank you. Can we have a vote in favour of accepting the minutes of the 17th of February? I shall have to abstain because of my mistake. In favour. In favour. Thank you. Myself in favour. Minutes accepted for the 17th. Next item. We sign the order of payments of accounts for March 2021. Does anyone have any issues with the uh, detail on the accounts? No, no issues. No. Neither me. Is yours the same answer, Councillor Tolga? None for me. Okay. And I have a proposer to accept. The I'll propose that. Thank you. I'll second. Thank you. All in favour? Yeah. In, in favour. Yeah. In favour, Councillor Moore. Tolga. Unanimous. Item 21086. To receive recommendation from the HBC Finance Committee with respect to the grant application received from Handforth for Scouts for the sum of £500 towards the cost of replacement tent, as previously agreed by the Finance Committee. Does anybody have any further information or comments that they'd like to make regarding this motion? No. I'd like the Council to support this because it's helping our youth in Handforth. Absolutely. Thank you. Can I have a, a proposal then? I'll propose it. Yeah. I'll second. second it. Thank you. All those in favour? Yeah. In, in favour. favour. Samson. Yeah, and myself. Unanimous. Next motion, 21087. To discuss the Cheshire East 
Community Governance Review, which seeks to merge Hanforth Parish Council with Wimslow Town Council and to agree, agree the following. First point, an agreed response from Hanforth Parish Council to the Cheshire East Community Governance Review to be submitted at the start of any consultation period on the 25th of March, 2021. Would anyone like to discuss that first section? Yeah, 5th of March, an agreed date. I thought that was a possible date. Yeah, that was when the agenda went out. It moved after that. Okay, and could you just let us know what that is now, Ashley? I think it's the 6th of April. Oh, sorry, it's the 4th of April, yes. 6th, I think, John. I stand corrected. 6th of April, I thought it was the 4th. I think the 4th East. Oh, is that? No, it might. 4th hmm. or 6th, sorry. Yeah, okay. Liz, um, may I make a comment, Chair? Yes, please. Okay, well, I would like to say that I am wholeheartedly behind Councillor Sampson's comments. I vigorously oppose this um, merger between uh, Hanforth and Wormslow. Um, we do not wish to return to the dark old days when uh, we were, Hanforth was a not a miserable place to live, but it's not as nice as it is now. We didn't have any Christmas lights. We didn't have any planters. And um, we didn't have uh, CCTV. And all of those things have been achieved by the parish council prior to this one. Uh, we have continued with the planters, this particular council, but we didn't uh, do the, and the war memorial. And all of those things have been achieved. And I worry uh, a great deal that on a council of proposed council of 20, there will only be four places for councillors in Hanforth. Um, we will be totally outvoid, outvoted and I believe it's a, a takeover bid by the independents in Cheshire and they want to take over Wilmslow and I'm afraid Hanforth will be ignored. So I will be campaigning vigorously and I'm hoping now, given all the um, uh, publicity that Hanforth Parish Council has had, uh, due to events beyond some of our control, um, that people are more aware of the council and will be voting in the elections come May for um, a, a vacancy in the West Ward and um, they will come out and support the parish council because we are here for all of these people in Hanforth and I want to have the, the leaflet campaign We've got a quote in, we need some other quotes, but we have a quote which is considerably less than that. I'm sure Ashley will uh, gen us up on that one. Um, to raise awareness of this subject and make sure that people know about it, because people in Hanforth have done well out of the Parish Council since its exception in 2011, and we can continue to do great things. So I hope that all parish, uh, all people at residents in the parish will um, support the council and come out and fill in the forms. Hopefully we'll come up with some kind of um, leaflet uh, so that people can support and anything else that the council wishes to do. So I'm just declaring where I stand. Very good. Anybody else? Chair, Chair can I make you aware that the uh, I didn't read all of the motion. I read the first bullet point yeah. in the motion. Uh, would you like me to read the, the other two bullet points? Well, shall, shall we say if other councillors, including yourself, want to comment on that first bullet point first? Take it, uh, take it stage by stage. Well, so, I'd uh, like to I'd like to recommend that Ashley prepares and submits um, to the governance about our objections because. They're asking us as councillors, would we like to be taken over by Wilmslow? No, I don't want to be taken over by Wilmslow. I want to stay independent. I, I, if I wanted to live in Wilmslow, I'd have moved. I live in Hanforth. I'm proud to live in Hanforth. Our community is really, really coming together. And yeah. that's what we should be promoting. Not, oh, well, 
it's all right, we'll sell you down the river and you can go and be taken over by Wilmslow because that is not the consensus of the people I have spoken to. And I feel very, very strongly about this because when it was, when the actual uh, referendum was, a lot of people didn't know what it was all about. This time we've got the option to make people aware of what, could be and i do not want it to be shoved under the table i will be supporting the fact that we have money in our budget to to do a leaflet campaign and everybody in handforth should know what the pros and cons are and i don't think there's many um, that would say well i want to be in wilmslow can I just come back in there, please, Chair? Go on. Um, I, I took some time to read the governance re actual report um, over the last few days. And there are a number of things that puzzle me quite a bit. And it, in section eight of the, the, the first part, it says, the current structure of parish governance serves its residents well, and it is not considered extensive change will follow. And they put, put in there as well that they have to take into account changes in population. Well, if you look at um, the changes that they've taken into account, I don't think they take into account all of the changes that have taken place um, in population of, of Hamforth, all the new builds that have gone on. So that's my first point. They also say in here that the guidance states that the abolition of parishes should not be undertaken unless clearly justified and that the views of residents and parish councils will have an important bearing on this matter. Now, there it says... It's how important the residents and the parish councils are. I have to say, I was very disappointed that um, the chairman refused to send a response to the, the um, request in 2019 when the first part of this came out. And I think that's left us in a rather weakened position. But I'm hoping that given all the things that we've found in this, that we can pull something together. But apparently, the one thing that they're looking at here is... Uh, the ident an identity test and a viability test. And those parishes that will be merged, merged will be where those tests cannot be met. I don't see any, uh, I don't see Hanforth meets either, uh, doesn't meet any of those criteria. We're far bigger than um, a lot of parish councils. And frankly, it's quite worrying. But the biggest worry to me is in the 1972 Act, I think it's Section 11, there's a part that says that the um, principal council cannot uh, bring about parish mergers or changes without the full knowledge and permission or uh, not permission, but uh, voting, the full backing of all the parish councils that are involved. And I'm waiting on an answer. Um, Alan, do we have, did we have an answer to that question? No. no yeah. Well, no, I think it's a very important question. Thank you. Sorry, that's all I wanted to say. Fine. Um, obviously, you'll make those views known as part of the consultation. Absolutely, I will, but I'm hoping that Hanforth Parish Council will make a very strong objection to what's going to be happening. Or the proposals, I should say, not what's yeah. going to be happening. Let's not assume. Yeah. May I speak, Chair? Um, is, is that a member of the public? No, it's John Smith. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, I, as Hello? I said, the, 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 uh, the, the consultation will only take place with a certain set of circumstances. It is not guaranteed to take place. There is opportunity for the parish council to make its feelings known prior to that taking place. And that is what we're looking to get set up to do now. What I would suggest is that I now reiterate the, th the three points because they form 
the motion itself, which we're being asked to vote on. Is that acceptable, Chair, that I read these out? Okay. Uh, the motion is to discuss the Cheshire Community Governance Review, which seeks to merge Hanford Parish Council with Wilmslow Town Council and to agree the following, point one. An agreed response from Hanforth Parish Council to the Cheshire East Community Governance Review to be submitted at the start of the consultation period. Uh, that needs to be changed, I think. It just needs to be submitted as soon as possible. Um, next point, a leaflet campaign to all residents of Hanforth to raise awareness of the consultation process and a resume of the position of Hanforth Parish Council to cost up to a maximum of £2,500. We know that that is a maximum and it's purely to give leeway to the parish clerk on what costs may be incurred. And the third is to discuss any other options which the parish council might take in response to the review, being the governance review. That is the motion 21087. Would you like, can I, can I propose a vote on that, Chair? Well, maybe we need some discussion. I don't know, do councillors Moore or Samson want to comment? Well, I think I've met, already made quite a few comments about the governance. The campaign, the leaflet campaign, I think is critical because I don't think that all residents know um, what's going on, what's it about. And, I, and uh, unless people are very diligent, they're not going to read through the... Uh, 100 and odd pages, I can't remember how many pages it is, but it's a lot, um, of the governance review. And we could put that onto the leaflet to um, just put the sal salient points forward um, and obviously put forward the, what the parish council has done to date. Um, that's what I would be uh, supporting so that we know, res residents know what's going on. If residents want us to merge with Wilmslow, then, you know, that, that's up to residents. You know, that's the whole point of having a consultation, isn't it? But given what happened uh, a while ago, I don't think that, that that's what residents want. But we need to find out. That's critical. I would be concerned that... Uh Residents are being asked to spend whatever the figure is, two and a half thousand for round the sake, um, being told how good we are. Chair, they're not being... Sorry. Sorry, what that wasn't the intention, Councillor Tolver. It was simply to set out what is proposed, what the council have done to date. It's not to say how wonderful we are, just to say the things that... Um, have been done, the things that have been achieved, and just to set out what will be proposed, like it will be a council of 20 and there will only be four representatives from Handful, that sort of thing. Purely factual. Chair, can I make a comment? You, you mentioned there about being asked to spend 2,500. No, they're not. That is the maximum that is being voted on. And in the past where there has been a uh, Handforth um, uh, what, what did we used to call it? The document that we sent out, the uh, the review, newsletter. Uh, the newsletter. newsletter. That's the word that was sent out, and that was printed, and at a cost. So it's not going to be a very great deal different to to that cost of the of the actual review, you know, the, the review of the of the, the performance of the council. So it's. I would suspect nowhere near 2,500. And even if it was mentioning the positive aspects of the parish council, there's nothing wrong with that. As, we've, as, we've, as it's been mentioned, there's the planters, there's the Christmas fair that hundreds of people enjoy, there's the Christmas lights event following that that everyone enjoys, the war memorial, CCTV, the pantomime that takes place, the defibrillator that's been bought, CPR courses that have been uh, initi initiated by or paid for by the council grants to groups like tonight the scouts that's the sort of thing that the parish council does lots of people don't realize that's what we do lots of people think we're an arm of the church because there's a word parish in there that can also be put in there very put, very good things but what? it's it's not as if wilmslow don't do very good things for their people too it's yes for their people they don't do them for hamforth it does for their people, and there's a risk that that will continue. 
Well, it's a risk. Not just Moles got his hand up. But I, I dare say that uh, the people of, for example, Lacey Green, um, presumably feel that they're part of Wilmslow. No, they don't. They feel no. just... There's a danger of going overheated on this. Oh, can, Chair, can I ask that we um, we discuss this motion? Otherwise, we're going to be talking about this all night. The motion is, as I've already read out, can I propose that we vote that, please? Uh, you can. You can. Um, as Councillor Samson said, all she wants to say. Yes, I think uh, hopefully the community know my feelings. And if they wish to contact me directly, I will certainly help them. Um, to complete um, the survey, if that's what's needed, because I believe that the survey will be online. Okay. How are um, we going to agree the wording of this document? Who's going to write it? Yes, of course we're going to uh, word. Oh, so who is going to write it and how are we going to agree it? Well, obviously, it should be between all of the councillors that should um, get a draft to say what we propose, because we've all got to be singing from the same hymn sheet. Now, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, you're assuming it's not going to happen. There's well, two councillors missing here. Well, that, that we don't know what their feelings are. However, I've not missed a council meeting. Can we keep it relevant? I am keeping it relevant. There are I've my, my I've question, given my time freely. My question, my question is how are we going to draft it and agree it? I've just said we we will circulate a document and we all add to it and it's agreed and then it goes out in leaflet form. Can we ask Chair, can we ask the clerk to draft a document that you shows have to tell me whether you object or support the proposal? Yes, that's what well, I'm trying well, to get to. It. Yeah. Can we have the vote then? Can we have well, a proposal? Before we vote, can we just bring Roger in? Because I think he's, been, he's got something relevant to say. Chairman? Do we really need this, Roger? I don't see why we should Roger. have Roger when there's other people been waiting for just as long. Well, I, I, that's why I'm inclined to say, no, we shouldn't have yeah. otherwise we open the floodgates. Yeah. I know Roger always makes very sensible comments, but it, it isn't fair to the other residents. No. No. So, Councillor Smith, are you proposing this motion? That's what I've said on a couple of occasions. Yes, yes Councillor. I'll second it. Are you there, Chair? Yes, I said. I just asked those in favour. I'm in favour. I'm in favour. I'm in favour. I'm in favour except for the matter of the drafting of the document. We do need to work on that. Well, surely we can set up a, a Zoom meeting between us to discuss it, can't we? Yeah. I would hope so. I think we probably need some... I'll put that into the... I just want to say that when we tried, or when we did, uh, draft leaflets, in, information leaflets, to go out to the, to the residents in past times, it was an enormously difficult thing to do, to get agreement on things, even amongst people who were generally agreeable about what we were trying to write. I think this is going to be very, very difficult indeed. Well, Chair, I can I to say we have to try? Um, ever, because it's weird. such an important topic, I believe that the residents of Hanforth, we have a duty of care to them. Of course to we tell do. Them and raise the awareness. Yep. 
I'm saying the drafting of the document is going to be extremely difficult to agree. I don't think it is. Well, I think it is because I think it's inevitable. I've, I've never seen one of these documents, even when people are in principle agreeing about what they're writing. But well, well, I'm we sorry about that in public. Can we just yes. leave that to afterwards? We can sort that out ourselves. Very good. Is it, is it worth having a vote now on whether the council is in favour of joining exactly. the club yeah. or not? Can I? Is it possible to propose a vote at this moment? No. It's a, a motion not requiring uh, notice? Well, we would only have four councillors present to vote on it, wouldn't we? Yeah, yes, but that's we because they be don't attended. attend. They don't attend. They, knew, no, what the, they knew what the agenda was, Councillor yeah. Tolver. And they can't even be bothered to give their apologies, which I find outrageous. And do you know why not? You tell me why not. Well, I don't You're know. You're the chair. Of course we don't know because they don't communicate with the clerk. So I'm sorry, but if you want to vote on something, you need to be present. That's what it says in the standing orders, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So can I ask the clerk, is that feasible, what I've just suggested? Well, to be honest, under the motion that you just voted on, you vote for an agreed response. Correct. Correct. Okay. So, is the fact that three councillors here have agreed a response that we are in favour of staying independent, is that acceptable? That is technically a response. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. But if you would like, if you would like to vote on it separately, to say whether you are in favour of it or in favour of merging with Wilmslow Town Council, then by all means, take a separate vote on it. Can I? Well, I'd I like to. I'd like to propose I that. I didn't have chair. this problem with Chorley Parish Council at our meeting when we discussed the exact same motion. Okay. Thank you. Can I just point out that it's not as if Cheshire East won't know what's being said here. At this meeting. Mm -hmm. I hope they are listening. And, and it therefore follows that they will realise that what you're doing is putting through a vote that represents three out of our seven councillors. No, no we've got seven councillors. There's four of us here. Well, you and, and there's two. Them. No, there's four of us here and two councillors haven't even bothered to give their apologies. We've got a vacancy in the West Ward. So in principle, there's only six of us. So the 66% 60, of the existing council... You speak as if Cheshire East are blind. What do you mean? Why, 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 why are we worried about what Cheshire East thinks? Why are you worried about The whole point, surely, is to convince Cheshire East that... Hanford should remain as a no. no. As a no. consultation. It's, it's, it's to recommend what Hanford Parish Council's position is. And as we've just seen, the three out of the four councillors who were attending the meeting are in favour of staying as independent. Now, the fact that two other councillors have not attended, well, I'm sorry, but if you don't buy a ticket, you don't win the raffle. We, we, we actually, we've been made aware of what Councillor Burkill's thoughts are, but I'm not going to go into that now. I thought Mr Pinker made that very clear. Yes. So he's, he's already been eloquently gone into by David Pinker. I don't need to mention it. Well, of course, who knows what his opinions may be now. Well, if he, well, if he was attending the meeting, he could he make us aware his of it. Opinion. For 30 years, he's... He supported independence in Hanforth. Why should he change now? Exactly. Exactly. If, we, if we're going to put in and, a and response, can I also say that the other Irish, uh, the, the other ward councillor Hanforth supports Hanforth staying independent. Councillor Smith, can we Ashley? Can we have those two motions voted separately if all the councillors are in agreement? If they are, yeah. If you want to. Okay, thank you. Could you just, Ashley, could I ask, Ashley, could I ask you to summarise it so that all participants know what we're voting on? Okay, uh, how do you want to do this? 
Um, let's make it, let's turn it on its head. Right. Take a vote on supporting the merger with Wilmslow Town Council. Which, which item is that on the agenda? Well, for example, you know, do you agree to it or do you disagree with it? Which item on the agenda is that? An agreed response from Hanforth Parish Council to the Cheshire's Community Governance Review. So this is your, going to be your agreed response. Are you in favour of merging as, as proposed in the Governance Review or against it? Against Councillor Sampson. Against Smith. Against Councillor Moore. I'm abstaining. Okay. Resign. But may well, I ask... No, sorry, no, may can, I... Can we, can, sorry, Sue, can we just ask... Ashley, has he got the detail of that now? That's the agreed position. The yeah. agreed position of Hamforth Parish Council. Yeah, because then I can draft something. Yes, okay. Right. Thank you. Well, can I just say there, Ashley, that... We need to draft that with looking at the points that the council have put at the Cheshire East have put in the governance review. There are specific points that they've um, put down in that review, which we need to respond to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Does that makes sense. Thank That's you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the other proposal, please, Ashley. Uh, you've done all the rest. No, we haven't. We said we would have put a motion for the campaign of the leaflet. The leaflet. You've already agreed that. Oh, well, that's okay. been agreed right, in 2187. Yes. Thank you. So, can I can I just make sure my understanding is correct? We've agreed a maximum. It's my motion. And you've agreed the re response. Okay. Yeah. Right, and we've also agreed. A maximum amount of 2,500 on... Yeah, that was agreed in the motion that you voted on, okay. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, okay. thanks for that. Thank you. And did you, did you get there that... I don't know if you heard him, but Councillor Tolver abstained. Yeah. So just want to make sure that... Uh, can you annotate the voting, please? You want name, to name the vote? Name, name yes, votes, please. please. Yes. <laughs> I would like a named vote for myself. Yeah. Please. Okay, would you like me to carry on reading them out, Chair? Yeah? Have we finished that one? Yep. Okay, so we're on to the um, item eight, I think, John. Yes, I was, I was asking if you wanted me to carry on. Yes, please, yes. Eight motion is to agree a donation of one hundred pounds to the Hanforth Scarecrow Festival. Um, I'm promoting that. Um, does anyone have any questions about it? No, um, I've, I've not heard of one of these before. Could you give me a quick thumbnail sketch? All right, it's it's it's, it's in all the notice boards and is online. Um, I can't um, read. I can't read notice board. Right. There are currently, um, in the same way that Wimslow had a scarecrow festival, uh, Hanforth has uh, put together a festival where, in time for Easter, all households can put a scarecrow together. A lot of the businesses in Hanforth are doing it. All the schools, uh, everyone's involved. And I think there's at least, it's getting on for about 100 entries so far. Uh, within uh, Hanforth. Um, these are for people to, kids, make a, a scarecrow, put it in their own garden. It might be, you know, making a, uh, a homage to the NHS workers or uh, anything at all. all right. but, uh, they will be uh, judged, I believe, by um, a prominent member of the village, not a council member, but a prominent member of the village and uh, who's well known, who has agreed, I believe today or yesterday, to uh, to judge. Um, all entrants will get a uh, an, an Easter egg. No, and, all uh, children. All children, yes. Beg your pardon. <laughs> yes, all children. So you're not getting one, Cynthia. No. <laughs> so, that um, and as I said, there's around about 100 at the moment. And if anyone who travels through Wormslow regularly. Uh, they'll see that they've been doing this in the past and uh, I don't think they get anywhere near 100. So it'd be interesting to see um, 
how well this is taken up uh, once the event is actually uh, in full flow. So it's £100 to go towards the cost of the uh, Christmas eggs, uh, the Christmas eggs, Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and, and prizes as well, because there will be prizes for those who uh, who do the best, considered best entry. So, okay. That's the motion to uh, donate hundred pounds. Any qu any questions? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. We'll second it. Okay. In favour. In favour, Smith. In favour, more. Over. Thank you. Next item, 21089, uh, to set up a community woodland management group to look after those areas of woodland we have left, for example, Hall Road and behind Boots. And this is from Council Moore. Okay. Well, I put this on the agenda because I walk through the woods on odd occasions with the dog and with my three-year-old grandson. And it's very clear to me that um, there is an awful lot of work that could be done to improve the woods in terms of getting rid of dead trees, creating wildlife habitat and all the rest of it, but also uh, in making the woods more accessible to people. Um, I'd love to see uh, nature trails in there for the children. So working with schools, getting things put up, things like that. So basically to take over the management. And I know people will say, well, it's Cheshire's job, but they don't do it. And these are our woods. And we all know um, how we've all suffered from uh, the last 12 months and green spaces have become very important and I think um, there's nothing nothing more wonderful than a, a walk in the woods and if you can combine that with something educational absolutely brilliant but we need a group of volunteers to uh, set that up and to, to do that. I'm not talking about a um, a job. I'm just talking about people coming together and doing something to help our community. And it might be that it turns, it moves on to something else. I don't know. But I think we need to look at our woodlands and protect them. And I take on board uh, Roger Small's comment um, about Hallwood um, and the threat to it. And I think this is something that would help to preserve it. Um, and keep those woodlands for our children, our grandchildren, um, for the future, basically. So we're asking for that. I would like to ask for volunteers. Just a comment I'd like to make. Um, uh, Roger Small mentioned the stretch of woodland between Hall Road and Lower Meadow Road, the old tank track. Mm. Um, there's a sizable lump of Section 106 money um, arising from the care home development, you know, the sanctuary, um, that's specifically for the improvement of those woods and, and improving the track that runs through it, uh, things like fencing and so on. Um, now, that wasn't to be released until the first occupants, I believe I'm correct in saying, the first occupants took residence in the sanctuary. Um, so I think this is something that should be followed up on. I've, I've got a feeling it was either 68,000 or 96,000. For some reason, those two figures are in my head as a, as a sum for doing work there, which is obviously quite a sizable amount of money. So that ought to be coming from uh, from the developers. It may, it may even have been paid over to Cheshire East by now, I don't know. Um, but it would contribute mightily towards that particular chunk of woodland. Mm, well, that would be, if we got the money, that would be fabulous, wouldn't it? But we know what's happened to money before disappears. Let's hope it finally finds its way over here. Any comments from anybody else? Yeah, how, how, how do you see the, the council's involvement? 
Well, I, I think the council should be the focal point of this. I don't need, mean to say that we have to take charge of it, but I think we should be responsible and and um, have the overview so that we know what's going on. I mean, we can talk about planting trees and all kinds of things like that, but the, the, if you manage those woodlands, there's an awful lot of trees that can be um, saved and looked after and cared for in all our woodlands, not just that whole road, the, the, all, it's all over. There's a, a huge stretch of woodland behind Boots, which at the moment is um, unaccessible, and I'd like to see that opened up to the public. But if, if we have a group of volunteers and people, um, well, perhaps in the net in the other items that follow on, there'll be people who will come in from other areas who will help us in this. I'm no expert, but I, when I walk through those woods, I know that they need managing. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So I went through the alongside the woods where that shortcut side path next to the buildings uh, I went through there uh, last week and uh, there's lots of as you say dead wood isn't there yes absolutely and there's lots of trees blocking the stream given you know the amount of rainfall we're getting and the possibility of summer rainfall we could end up with um, a flooding situation so we need to look at all of those things because climate change is obviously affecting what happens in, in throughout um, the region so all of those things can be rolled into one do, do we know who owns those woods Cheshire East the uh, the whole wood road the, the whole wood the bluebell woods that Roger mentioned um, as far as I know that's owned by the Wadsworth Trust still Possibly. I mean, Chair, I just want to say that I fully support Councillor Moore and anything we can do to help the climate change because everybody has now got to get on board with this and it shouldn't be just left to the few volunteers that has happened in the past when we've asked for volunteers for whatever because the greener handful uh, budget Nothing's been done with that and no volunteers have come forward. So maybe we can use some of that money to get it off the ground. I don't see any problem with using the money, but it's not correct to say that there have been no volunteers. We've had the Hanforth Woodland Group who've done a lot of, or done some planting of trees. Well, we know nothing about this. Nobody's told us. Well, it's a voluntary group, so it's... Yeah, but did they use the Greener Hanforth budget? No. Well, there you go. But the, it, there you go. What? I'm talking about Greener Hanforth, where you nominated 10k to promote Greener Hanforth. You mean the council? Not, you mean the council voted for? Oh. No, well, council voted for it. But it's say, not, I have to say that I'm very disappointed in the Woodland Group. It was a very laudable um, thing to do. But I went to the meetings and I put forward an awful lot of suggestions. And yet I found that the Woodland Group had a giving page. I'm sorry, there's no room for a giving page in this sort of thing. You can buy, you can get free trees and free hedgerows from all sorts of places, the National Trust, um, the Woodland Groups. And I just don't agree with things like that. Plus, when I, you, people make suggestions, nothing gets taken on board. And now nothing's been heard of them. There's been one tree planted and those ridiculous trees at um, St. Benedict's, which should have been a proper hedgerow. That's what should have been planted there. That's what um, at the Woodland Tr Trust would um, have recommended. And when I spoke about that, oh, we haven't got time to do that. We've got Leylandi. So, you know, we need to... We need a group that's led by the parish council, not necessarily under its auspices, but liaises with people. That's what I want. I want an active group of members of Hanforth that's open to all. And um, can I just um, say, Chair, that um, on Spath Lane, on the East Ward, we have regular litter picks. And I know that Councillor Smith, Ward Councillor Smith, organised at least four litter picks last year and got all the children involved. So I'm sure if we can promote it and get it out there, 
we will get volunteers but yep. i'd like to see some people with expertise giving us advice because Absolutely. i don't know whether what is climate and non-climate chair chair may i just ask uh, something to mention to uh, councillor moore um that you were expecting that the hedgerows would go into uh, St. Benedict's. Yeah. Is that correct? Is it feasible for the hedgerows, the hedge that's been taken out of number two or number four Hall Road to be transplanted? To burn, to it, it's, a very, it's a very laudable idea, John, but I don't know whether that's possible or not. That's why... It's, Councillor Sampson's just said, I want to bring people on who know more about it. It's all yeah. very well as being passionate about it, and I am, but my knowledge is is not at the best. Of any, we've got people from um, various groups who could come and advise us, and yes, why not? I mean, I suggested when we had a meeting with... Um, about the build over the way there, that we, over the bypass, that we moved some trees from there, small trees. I'm still waiting for Andy Frost to come back to me to say, yes, you can have permission to move these trees. So, you know, yes, in essence, all these things can be done. We just need to ask the questions. Right. Because uh, I would say so is that the, uh, that motion that you just mentioned now about the woodland management, and the next uh, three, four motions are all on the same subject, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they are. They are. Is it worth grouping those and agree some sort of method going forward so that everything gets um, the same treatment? Because asking for expertise, and we know certain people in the village, I'm sure, who have that expertise, to use it on more than one element of of these motions i'm happy with that of the chairman but there's a lot more i want to say because i've got other things to say about the climate emergency sure. yeah um but we need to agree what, at first okay well, what what if we moved the climate emergency out of that batch and had nine ten and twelve together would that make sense or am i just uh, oversimplifying it group well, I think we're going to agree to all of them anyway, aren't we? Sorry, say that again, Councillor Tolver. Well, I think we're going to agree to all of them anyway. I think so, yes. Okay, well, I don't mind what we do, so long as we... Well, why don't we just do that and then have the discussion about the climate emergency? Okay. There's a separate issue. So you so to take the motions as they stand, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So um, if I'm reading it right, 9, 10, and 12. 12, yeah. We all agree to? Correct. Can I propose that? I'll second it. Sorry, I'm beeping away like mad here. Can you? Okay. So we've had a proposal and a second. Yeah, a second. So we've, we've had proposal and second. Can we have the vote now, Chair? Yeah, in favour, Tolver. In favour, Moore. In favour, Sampson. In favour, Smith. That's number nine, number ten, and number twelve. Uh, we go on to number 13 then. Number 11. No, number 11. No, climate emergency. The motion is to declare a climate emergency in Hanforth, Councillor yeah, Moore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure that everybody is aware that um, last year, Cheshire East Council declared that they would become carbon neutral by 2025. Um, and... A number of neighbouring parish and town councils um, like Bollington and Congleton have already declared a climate emergency and they're preparing detailed plans. I think that we should declare an emergency. This is the biggest threat um, to life on this planet that we have right now. And people need to 
take it seriously. Um, the UK government is, hold, is um, organising the COP26 summit in Glasgow, and it's clear that climate change is very high on everybody's agenda. And I think we need to do what we can to support it. There's a, there's a lot of local support. There's lots of local groups um, like uh, Climate Conscious Wilmslow, Extinction Rebellion, Plastic Free William, uh, Wilmslow and Transition Wilmslow. They're active both in Hanforth and in Wilmslow. There's a lot of local support for um, bio, promoting biodiversity diversity and all that sort of thing and the pandemic has just raised all of this as far as I can see to the forefront of people's minds because we've all well a lot of us have been stuck indoors a lot of us have been wanting to go out and um, do things and go places and we've not been able to do so and when the cars weren't delivering children to school what a much lovelier place it was um, for safer for children and so forth and so on. Um, we've done some things as Hamforth Parish Council, but not enough. And what we've just voted for tonight, I think, is a, a great start. But I think we should have together the group that will bring this forward, discuss all of these items so that Hamforth can put forward and become... Um, zero carbon or carbon neutral by 2030 and i think that's quite achievable and i think you'll find that um there's a a lot of people will support things more than you think i know that there's certain things cars are a very sensitive subject i know but at the end of the day this is we're talking about the future of this planet i'm talking about my three-year-old grandson I'll be gone by the time climate change comes around in 50 and 60. And, mm -hmm. but, but we know that it is going to come about. We know that it's already changing. You've only got to see the changes in temperature that, that across the globe, the changes in, in um, weather patterns, um, how many floods have people had and all that kind of thing. It all needs to be looked at very carefully and we need to involve our community and I think personally the best salesmen in the world are children. Get the children involved, get into schools. I've already got a, a good working relationship with uh, Hannah at um, St Benedict's and I'm sure the other schools are all doing things. Let's get in there, let's get the children involved, let's get it off the ground, let's do lots of things for this parish. We can't do anything about anywhere else, but we can do something about Hamford. And I think we should declare a climate emergency and then that will put us on the map and we get on and we do things um, for us, for Hamford. And yes, as Laura just said, yes, the children are our future and we need to teach them and teach them well. And she's right absolutely right and i know the schools are doing things and we did support st benedict's didn't we last year um with vegetable planters and all that sort of thing but we can do a lot more thank you that's all i've got to say chair could i Thanks, so. just respond to um councillor moore please mm -hmm. um Thank you, Sue, for bringing this all to our attention. I admire you for bringing it up. However, I would like a professional body to write the procedure that we need to adhere to. Because if it's just left to one or two people, it will never get done. I know that David Pinkham and I got Transition Wilmslow involved in certain areas of Hanforth and it was left to one poor lady to water it. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's, absolutely, it's got to be put yeah. on a professional Absolutely, body. Cynthia. As I said before, I don't know enough. I'd, I'd love to know it all, but I don't. And I, I, I know the more I read, the less I know, you know? So, yes, let's bring in people with uh, expertise, people okay. from Transition Wilmslow. Bring them in. Give Talk to us. 
tell us what we're supposed to be doing. Of course, I'm not here to write it. That's why it needs to be a group of people okay. from across the board, people yeah. who are professional and, and, and know a lot more about these things than I do. But let's get it started. And I do know that Bollington have done an absolute wonderful job they have uh, involving all their children as well and all yeah. their organisations. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's get in touch with them and say, help us to start our project off. Because the more we work with people, the better. Absolutely. I've got no um, problem with that, Cynthia. No problem at all. Can I make a comment, Stu, and everyone chair? Yeah. Um, that one of the main uh, elements that prevent this sort of thing happening is a lack of funds. We don't have that. We've got, I think, 9,850 quid in that uh, greener hand forth pot. So if there's money needs spending uh, on, I don't know, a consultant, an advisor, uh, whoever it is that can point HBC on the right track and you know, give advice, that, as you say, that needed advice, then we've got the funds there available to do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I can I propose then that uh, we declare a, cam a climate emergency in Hanforth? Can I second that, please? Can I ask for an amendment that we bring in an expert person to write up what we should or shouldn't be doing? Because it's all very well declaring a climate emergency but where do we take it from here? Well, I think that's going to go to the group, Cynthia. We'll set up a, a working group of like-minded people. That's what we voted for to discuss. Yeah, but I, to be honest, I think all these items that you've raised, which are excellent, should come under the planning and environmental um, okay. committee, not the, the count, uh, HPC, because... You know, that was the part of, I know that Councillor Tolva took this 10K out of his head, um, but we never did anything with it. And it's all very well saying, well, I'll vote for a climate emergency, but what are we voting for? Yeah. Can I just say that there's a note just come on the, the screen there from Andrew Backhouse yeah. that the Centre of Alternative uh, the, the, is Technology um, might be a very good place to start you think? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Did we have a vote on it, Sue? No, not yet. Okay. So, are we are we just incorporating? I think, uh, I think it ideas? needs. I th I'd suggest it needs a little bit of research to see what other people have, what other councils have done when they've declared a climate emergency, any sort of, you know, practical first steps, and and to follow that up with. Um, I was going to use the word consulting, um, but um, but talking to people who might provide advice and then come back with uh, a more detailed proposal. Well, that's what I'm hoping the group will do and it, uh, the group of like-minded people will do and discuss, put things together and talk about, uh, talk to uh, professionals and then get some sort of recommendations out to Hamforth Parish Council. It's not going to happen overnight. It's no. going to be a few months. Yeah, but what I'm saying is rather than just say, let's make a budget of five grand or whatever figure and, uh, and go and find somebody to spend it on, let's... let's I don't think we've quite got there yet, Brian. I well, think we need to have that discussion first, don't that's we? What, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, Chair, I don't think we can just vote on to declare a climate emergency in Hanfield without getting further evidence of what our proposals are going to be. Um, well, I wouldn't disagree. Uh, I'm sorry, I disagree. I think if you if you declare a climate emergency, it means we're going to actually do something and do I, something I, I, worthwhile I, and and move it forward. I, I agree with Councillor Moore, like, isn't it? I, I I agree with Sue that you can keep on dancing around the the issue. Uh, let's declare it now and then attend to it, rather than let's discuss more issues 
and not declare it. You know, let's let's get on with it now, okay. and then that forces the issue, doesn't it? Yeah, it's happening. I I understand. Okay, I take back what I said then. So can we have a vote then? I've already got a proposer and a seconder. In favour, Samson. In favour, Moore. In favour, Tolver. In favour, Smith. Yes. Well done, Sue. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, next item, Chair, is uh, 21 210813 to confirm the date of the next HPC Council meeting. Um, What's the regular date? Well, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think that... Um, We've got Easter. We've got yeah, Easter. Easter. Can I suggest the 20th of April because we've got Easter? Yeah. Is that okay, Chair? 20th of April... Um, I think that's okay for me. That's fine for me, thank okay. you. Whatever, just tell me the date, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. And uh, now, Chair, we've got a part B. Close of, close of meeting to the public. Yes, please. End, end of meeting as far as the public is concerned. Yep. We thank them for uh, attending, Chair. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. See all your faces. Thank you. Thank you all. Give me a moment and I'll... Um, Good hopefully Good hopefully people will oh. respectfully leave. If not, I'll um, get rid. Are you going to usher everybody out? Yeah. <laughs> You should have something that shouts out. Can we have your glasses now, please? Uh, uh, yeah, time, <laughs> time, gentlemen. Time, gentlemen. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Not heard that in a while, have we? Apparently, Ashley, somebody's asked that you must turn off your YouTube. Yes. Yes, I do need to. Ha, 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 ha.